Welcome back to the Royal Rumble, folks. Our next contest is about pride, about dignity. Kurt Angle has perhaps had one of the worst years of his professional career. And the fiend, Bray Wyatt, has targeted him because of this. And we've seen it play out on Metal over the past few weeks. And yes, Metal is cancelled. However, Triple H, the EVP, has allowed this contest here tonight on the Royal Rumble broadcast. And do you know what, Kurt Angle, for him, this is about more than pride. It's about proving to everyone that he can still go at a professional level. But standing in his way is a monster of ungodly proportions. has arrived. We saw The Fiend make his first appearance in the flesh at Metal Ungovernable. And since that night, he has targeted the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. He says he wants to help heal Kurt Angle. But when you look into the eyes of that man, do you see someone who wants to help I only see someone who wants to hurt. And this will be the first match for the Fiend Bray Wyatt here in NLW. And you know, we saw him a couple years ago. And, oh, wait a minute. I forget that. Look at this. Kurt Angle start this match with a bang with a German suplex. And he hits the trifecta, but the Fiend gets right back up. He is not human. Oh, but Angle! Angle slam! But he kicks out of one. The Fiend kicks out of one. And Kurt Angle cannot believe it. But that's what you've got to do. You've got to stay on this guy because he's not a normal man. He is a monster. As The Fiend takes Angle out over the top rope. And my sister Abigail oh, but wait a minute. And reverses in a belly to belly on the stage. Belly to belly on that stage. The Fiend. I don't think he was expecting this. As Kurt Angle delivers a running scent on. When have you seen him do that? Kurt Angle breaking all of his conventions to try and take down the Fiend. And it's working. Angle on top. Moonsault for no one home. He went for the moonsault and what a lariat from Bray Wyatt. And the Fiend going to work on Kurt Angle. And now Angle thrown off the ropes. A vicious torpedo like elbow and the senton from Bray Wyatt. And you know, we've heard what he has to say on the Firefly Funhouse. He says that Kurt Angle. He's past his prime, and then that sickening line he gave to Kurt Angle by saying, Oh, wait a minute, though. Saying that Wyatt's family left him, so did Angle's, and now went for the ankle lock. But a roll through into your urinagi. And he continues and throwing it. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Throwing Kurt Angle, and I think the back of his head may have hit the canvas on the rebound. I'm going to pick up Kurt Angle and slam him face first on the apron. And you know, I think the Fiend was ticked off by Kurt Angle bloody and Bray Wyatt a couple weeks ago. This is a side of Kurt Angle we haven't seen in years, folks. And the Fiend has brought it out of him. Oh no, Mandible Claw! Mandible Claw, but Kurt Angle gets out of it. And a clubbing blow. To Angle, but Angle on the top rope and a belly to belly from the top. Kurt Angle 
leaping to the top and Angle is all flared up locking in the ankle lock on Bray Wyatt gonna try and cut down this monster but look at him it's not even phased him the feet not even phased and now the mandible claw locked in and there it is folks sister Abigail and it's over and look at this he's listening to those gloves and what on earth is this oh good god Jesus Christ and the fiend is going to win this one and now he's listening to that heel glove the hurt is over and the healing can begin but Bray Wyatt I don't know man this is not the same guy that we saw years ago with the Wyatt family this is someone who's gone off the deep end and he's pushed Kurt Angle to his limits as you see Angle was vicious in this one but even that wasn't enough to stop the Fiend from inflicting damage look at that snapping the neck of Kurt Angle and Angle's in a bad way he, he's had neck problems in the past folks and the Fiend look at that I think that Kurt Angle is the first of many victims and that scares me to say Angle taken out as the Fiend enacts his reign of terror across No Limits Wrestling well folks that was a brutal matchup and Kurt Angle is seriously injured and Kenny Omega may be seriously injured following several attacks by the Ministry over the past few weeks but tonight he has a chance to become NLW champion when he steps in the ring with Jeff Hardy later on tonight and the action rolls on with this six woman tag team match featuring another deadly trio led to the ring by the puppet master Paul Ellering, Oscar, Kyrie Sane, Io Shirai, they are the Kabuki Triad. Tasked with taking out the man Becky Lynch and doing so successfully. Now, because of them, the Women's Championship has been vacated. And the Kabuki Triad, they are hired guns, hired thugs. They've taken out Becky Lynch at the behest of the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. And tonight, they try and take out the vigilante, Ember Moon. Ember returned to metal a few weeks ago to get revenge on the woman who broke her arm, Ronda Rousey. But tonight, Rousey's nowhere to be seen. Instead, Ember, with two mystery partners, is going to take on the Kabuki Triad and here is one of the women who Ember has enlisted Riho who's had her fair share of run-ins with the Kabuki Triad but who's the third woman? and it is the legit boss Sasha Banks who on metal was assaulted and taken out by the Kabuki Triad well tonight she has been enlisted by Ember Moon and now Ember's army going to take the fight to the Kabuki Triad and now the Triad taking out Ember's crew you know we've seen what they can do we've seen them take out the man Becky Lynch we've seen them run rough shot over No Limits Wrestling and now Ember Moon and her gang gonna try and take out the Kabuki Triad 
But they are one of the most deadly factions I've ever seen, folks. As Kyrie Sane delivers. The Insiguri with the help of Askren. In comes Io with the missile drop kick. They're like a well-oiled machine under the tutelage of the puppet master Paul Ellering. And you know what? For the right price, they will take anybody out on any given occasion. Just ask Becky Lynch, who is currently sat at home with an injury. But sits out with a power bomb out of the armbar. Asker in trouble. And makes the tag to Sasha Banks with a Meteora. And a drop kick to Io Shirai. And the big boot. Wiping out Sasha Banks and going for the Asker lock. But backed into the corner. And now Kyrie makes the tag. And Kyrie in there. With a captain's hook. She's got the legs. Great vine for that cloverleaf. Is Sasha going to tap out? No. A reversal. And Sasha Banks. With a bank statement applied. But are oh, raking the eyes. And Ellering calling the shots. But in comes Riho. Riho got a shock victory this past week over Shayna Baszler. Now taking the fight to Io Shirai. There's a sunset flip. For the Meteora. Riho. She's got so much fight in her, but Oscar just drop kicks. Look out for Ember Moon with the Eclipse. The Eclipse. Wiping out Oscar. And now Paul Lellering getting involved. And a slap to the face. And Sasha Banks takes him out with a tope. And I can't say it wasn't deserved. Paul Ellering, the sneaky businessman he is. And Sasha looking for the bank statement in the ring, but wait a minute. It's Wanda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. They're taking out Riho. The referee can't see it, and there's a chair shot. And the poison spike Rana to Sasha Banks. Io makes the tag. Moonsault. Kyrie on top with the elbow. The insane elbow picks up the win for the Kabuki Triad. And Ember Moon unsuccessful in her bid to try and take down this triad. And the Kabuki Triad reigns supreme. Well, first of all, it was the puppet master Paul Ellering trying to get involved. He was taken out. And then Riho also taken out by Shayna Baszler. And that left Sasha Banks all alone to get hit with a moonsault and then hit with this insane elbow for the Kabuki Triad to score the win. Well, first of all, it was the man Becky Lynch, who we've not seen since. Then it was Ember Moon, and now she has taken the fight to Ember's army as the Kabuki Triad stand victorious. And my question is, under the guidance of Paul Ellering, who will be able to stop Asuka Sane and Shirai, the Kabuki Triad? Well, that was a brutal match, but also coming up next, folks, the NLW Championships on the line. Kenny Omega seeking redemption. Can the cleaner take out the charismatic enigma? Find out next on the Royal Rumble.